Um, so that's a great question. And it kind of varies horse to horse. Um, what, why I say redirection versus release is, you know, we, we come into an appointment and, um, you know, there's in theory some expectation of, okay, like, so for a person, right? Like say you go into um, wanting to get a massage and you're like, oh, I got this, this issue in my leg and it really hurts. Like, I want you to work it out. Right. And that, you know, your expectation is you want to get that released. What if you have that issue because there's something else going on? A and compensation if you problem. Release, yeah, exactly. If you release that, you're going to then either destabilize it or then there's going to be some kind of, um, you know, uh, snowball effect that will then, in, in, in a way, not create more issues. Um, but uh, just make it a little bit more challenging, right? It's never just, oh, I have one thing right here because everything is connected. And so if you have a problem in your hamstring, you're going to have a problem in your glutes. You're going to have a problem in your back. You're going to have a problem, you know, probably in your shoulder because you're compensating in some way. Right. And horses being a quadruped, meaning because they've got four legs and not two, where they compensate is going to be a little bit more exaggerated than, uh, you know, people. Right? My, 